Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a very long spring cleaning in my bedroom and I did this video a little bit different so if you guys want to check it out wait till the end. It is 52 minutes. I have very few edits in here and I actually am doing a little more ASMR in this video so I can't wait to see what you guys think. Wait till the end and definitely tell me down below in the comments. If you're new here my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking so cooking, cleaning, decorating. I love to make my home a wonderful place place where I raise all four of my children with my husband and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and if you're returning it is so great to see you. First things we're going to do is thank today's sponsor which is Helix Mattress and I'm going to actually share with you how I deep clean my mattress a couple times a year. Okay guys so the first thing I want to do is actually take all this bedding off because I want to put the baking soda on here and let it sit for like a couple hours. Today is daylight savings. It's Sunday. And it's the afternoon. So I've like already changed and stuff for the day. But <clears throat> I feel like <laughs> I woke up this morning at like 8. I usually get up at like, I don't know, 6. And just felt like I was already behind for the day. It was, I was so bummed. I don't love spring forward. I love a good fall back though, I'm not gonna lie. This is my weighted, um, this is a weighted blanket. Helix actually sells these if you guys wanna try them. It's a, uh, I, mean, I think this is a 20 pound. These are really nice, but they're so heavy. Oh my God, so heavy. <clears throat> these are amazing if you are stressed. It's really nice. And then sheets, socks are all Brooklinen, my favorite. I just put um, new pillowcases on these yesterday because Chewy, our Chihuahua got in our bed, which is not always the cleanest thing that he does. So we'll get started on that. Tell us in the comments down below, what are you up to? How was your Sunday? <clears throat> are you guys getting excited for spring? I know um, today, after I'm kind of done getting this project done, I gotta do my Sunday reset, but I think we're gonna go to the gardening store here where we live and get some amendments to get the soil ready for, for spring. So. Um, Got all my seeds and all of that going. So I'm very, very much looking forward to that. <clears throat> so while this baking soda is sitting, we are going to um, clean the rest of the room. I'm gonna show you a little bit about this mattress real quick. I the One of the reasons I love Helix, honestly, is I like a soft mattress. My husband likes a firm mattress. So we were actually able to go on the website and like do a test where we said, this is how he sleeps, this is how I sleep. I'm a side sleeper, he's a back sleeper. So, um, and then they actually gave us the perfect mattress that actu actually works for him and myself, which is amazing. I love how soft this is. It gets shipped right to the house in a very small box. You just pop it open and then let it sit for about a day. The other thing, it came with um, a box spring that also was really easy to, build and if you're gonna move oh my god it's so nice to just be able to collapse that down and move the beds around when our house flooded in october you know late september um we actually moved this bed up into my son's room and slept up there for a month while we redid the floors and everything and repaired the bathroom and then decided to gut the bathroom because it was such a mess but um it was so easy to just take this upstairs the mattress itself is kind of heavy but Honestly, I love this mattress. So if you are looking for a new mattress, I highly recommend checking out Helix. Again, they're my favorite. We have had this one for two years and it's perfect for our um, different sleep needs. My husband and I have, so if you guys are looking for that, definitely check them out, take the quiz um, and see if you can't find one that fits for you. We have the Midnight Luxe. It uh, is just so cozy. Helix actually has 
mattresses for children. I think I showed you when I did my daughter's room, she has a new bed up there. So we ordered two new mattresses for her bunk bed. And um, they have specific mattresses that you can actually flip over as the kids get older. I mean, I didn't have this stuff around when I had small kids. I mean, we were buying different mattresses all the time. So I highly recommend checking that out. If you guys are looking for a new mattress, please check out Helix. They are the best. And thank you to Helix for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to join me and have the best night sleep of your life, visit helixsleep.com slash Lauren Nicholson to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. They also have a hundred night sleep sleep trial so you can test your mattress, but I promise you, you will never want to send it back. And they also have a 10 year warranty. They offer flexible options for financing and also very easy payment plans. Thank you again to Helix for sponsoring today's video and providing us the best night's sleep we've ever had. Okay guys, we need to get cleaning. So all we're going to do is take a little bit of baking soda and just sprinkle it on to the bed. I usually use a spoon, but I didn't bring one and it's fine. So this is all you do. Put it here. Super easy. And this is also really good on carpets too. If you guys have carpets that um, just need a little extra cleaning, you can always put this on the carpet. It really does help. So then I'm just gonna work it in.
get my um, magic eraser. Let's see if we can't get that off. I don't know if you guys can see it. No, you can't. <laughs> don't even have this thing. Okay. So, right there. I'm going to get the um, thing and see if I can't get that off. I'll be right back. Alright guys, let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> I think it's just like a little um, like something scraped on it. and quiet day because the kids are outside playing before the rain comes. It's only going to rain, I think, today and then it's clear for a couple days and then it rains again. So this one I don't think wants to come out. this dust out very clean it's kind of what we were looking for right <clears throat> the old to-do list.
stains on this one too. Eraser. There it is. So, I've got a little pink mark here. And a little black mark here. Came right off. <laughs> Alright, next thing I'm going to do is get a little baking soda for these chairs. watching movies unless they're gonna start raining. Okay. So we're just gonna add this in. I've got a couple stains here and an apple sticker. Cool. And then um once we kind of let this sit for a second I'm gonna actually clean it with some um stain remover because it's got a lot of stains on it. Unfortunately yuck And I also put some baking soda on the rug right when I go to vacuum it, just to really deep clean it. Okay, good. Okay. And then I'm gonna just kind of go in these, just make sure that there's nothing. I wish these came out, do they? No. There's nothing left. There's some popcorn in this one. There's a lot of popcorn in this one. Okay, good. Cheerios in this one. Oops, I lost a nail in there. My bad. I'm gonna go get the spot cleaner and then we're gonna and we're gonna glue the old nail back on. This is what I'm gonna use. The Robo Rock has joined us. I don't know if you can see these stains. This may make it worse, but we're gonna find out. The smell of a good 
clean bedroom. All right. So I like to just get back up in this area. All the little areas we forget. Okay, we've got some more stains on this floor. Oh, my husband just told me that Chewy, our dog, isn't doing well today. So I'm a little, a little sad and worried. He's been doing really well, and then yesterday, um, he kind of, he just, he stopped eating, and then he drank like a ton of water, and then he said he didn't eat again this morning. So, he's out in the garden right now, just chilling. I'll take you guys out there to visit with him in a minute. Okay, oh yeah, yeah. As much as I love having pets, this part never gets easier, you know? I remember when Ellie got sick. And I remember her last couple of days were some of the hardest. So, I'm only assume today's not going to be good. area is nice and clean. I'm gonna wait to mop the rest. We're gonna get started on the carpet here. Okay, I'll be right back. Chewy's barking. Okay guys, I'm back. Today is gonna be a rough one. Okay, um, let's clean. He's sleeping, but he's definitely not in a good place. <sighs> um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, we're gonna vacuum the chairs. Um, I got the attachment. I'm hopeful that this is the right one because, because I don't know. I don't, Use this one a whole lot. It is <laughs> most definitely not the right one. I don't even know what this belongs to, to be totally honest. Okay, we can, we can just uh, use this part.
really great books I got from Home Goods. Vibrant Interiors, Living Large at Home. This one's called Arriving Home. It's about Southern Houses and then the Veranda, which Veranda Magazine is like one of my favorites. This Scandi Rustic, um, Creating a Cozy Happy Home, it seemed like it'd be a good book, but it's just a little too dark for me. Um, the interiors are a little too rustic. I like to add a little warmth if and when I can. I wish I had more time to have real plants and not let them all die. All right, and then we are going to go ahead and um, uh, clean the carpets. Okay, I feel like, yeah, my son, I'm going to have to cut this out. He like had a gum or something, and let me go get the scissors. I'll be right back. There it's like a, Oh, the joys of parenting. I don't think this is gum. I'm not, I'm not confident what this is, to be very honest. Yikes. Uh, oh, gross. I thought these were my good scissors. This isn't scissoring anything. Come on. What have we done here, teddy bear? Okay, let's make sure we keep this so it doesn't make another problem somewhere else. Okay, I think it's a piece of candy. We had these little, um, these little, uh, pineapple ca chewable candy things. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I'm gonna go ahead and save myself from sniffing it and just... We're good. We are good. Okay, it will not let me cut this out to save my life. Come on, please. Please, please, please. I don't even care if there's a hole in this carpet. Oh, I got it. Yes. Thank you. I'm telling you guys, Mrs. Myers, what is this called? All purpose cleaner, cleaning day, the bomb. Can't beat the price, it's $3.99. Smells like heaven. Friggin' does the job. Alrighty, so, okay. A couple things I want to do here. dish I got from marshalls.com over here to put my jewelry and whatnot and then I have all my books that I'm reading in here I'm currently reading a book called super communicators this is a fantastic book I'm almost done with it um, I read this on my trip and it was very good so if you're looking for a great book that's a great one Okay, so now that that's done, I am going to get started on my vacuuming the carpet and just let that kind of sit in there. You can also get some really nice smelling stuff that's not but this is just so affordable that's why i like to use it okay and then what i usually do is um get a broom and we're just going to kind of mush it in there and we'll back. that's all you have to do it's 
into the carpet really nicely. And as you can see, it's a dark carpet and it's not changing the color. Wonderful. Okay, mopping is done. I'm gonna go put this in the kitchen. I get all of these um, pillows kind of stacked up here. Oh, it smell. I swear that just the um, air feels different in here. Just amazing. Now. Too many pills. Okay. I for sure have too many pillows. Like nobody needs this many pillows. What's wrong with me? Alright, I'm gonna go get the other vacuum. I think it's gonna be a little easier than this one. Okay, so I can't find any of my attachments to this or the other vacuum I have. So, I mean, I have attachments, but they go to the Dyson that's at our other house. So, I'm just going to vacuum this. It's just going to take a little bit longer than I was hoping it would. I wonder if there's attachments on here. Oh, I'm such an idiot. You didn't see, but I usually put down just one protector over the mattress. So it keeps your mattress really clean and all that. Especially if like you've got little kids, you want to make sure you know if there's ever accident, so it is use whatever. <clears throat> or if you got young kids, you know you know what else could be. So um, I always like to have that down no matter what. And it will, again, it'll just preserve your mattress. And then this is our heat pad for winterization. But I think I'm only gonna need this for like one more month, guys, because I'm calling it in. It's time for some spring gardening, summer gardening, playing in the pool, no more homework. It's so clean in here. Done. Now we just put on our sheets. I went with my um, window pane set from uh, this is Brooklyn, 
I'm going to actually change out the top too. And I just ordered another set that's kind of like a fun green pattern because I'm just tired of everything being the same color in my life. Like, it was always like white, black, white, tan. And I just want to have some more color in my life. Okay. I love this about Brooklyn and Sheets. They actually have little tags telling you where things go. Oh, I can't wait to get into this bed. Okay, I was trying not to break every nail. Holy. My oldest daughter says that this is preppy. <laughs> this is a preppy sheet pattern. I thought that was funny. Okay, so I got that. Then I'm going to put my sheet on. Just find the end. There it is. Simple pleasures. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go get my blankets. So let me put on a weighted blanket and our comforter on the bed. Oh, it's so heavy. This one today, this is Casa Luna Target. It's kind of a light, airy comforter. I like this um, kind of muslin cotton. It's a nice vibe. We put on 5,000 pillows because I have a problem with pillows. <clears throat> All right, maybe I could get rid of some of these today. So I like these little ones here. These are my favorites. I'm gonna keep that like that. I usually sleep with two of these. And then I like the Marlowe pillow. Children may have, um, my husband likes the firmer pillows, so um, I'm going to put the softer ones on my end because I like softer, which is one of the reasons I like Marlowe pillow is you can actually adjust it, which is kind of cool, but I, I think some of my kids may have left. See, this is the Marlowe pillow, so you can adjust it to be softer. That's mine. His is over, what is this here? This is zipped up, as you can see. He likes a firmer pillow, so he zips his and zip mine. And the world keeps turning. Okay. So yes, I am aware there's a lot of pillows. I get it. But I'm not going to stop having a lot of pillows. Big one, and then here are the shams that go with this bedding. 
I think I'm just going to put one simple little blanket over this and call it a day. And I'll give the kids back all their pillows because we got a lot. All right, let's take out the old sheets. We can use this. This is for the kids. Two little pillows I'm going to put here. I like the stripes. And then we're going to link it. This is also um, Casa Luna from Target. Just a really beautiful, simple throw. But what I love about this is um, it's two-sided, so you could do a light or the dark, but it's big. Sometimes I have a hard time because it's a Cal King with just um, getting blankets that actually fit our bed. Especially at Target, they don't usually keep Cal King things in stock in the store, which is kind of All right, guys. A nice, right? I don't want to think you can see it. Okay. So there's that. That looks lovely. There's one other little thing I want to do. I want to add some florals here. Make this room smell beautiful. So I'll be right back. The last thing I want to do is add some fresh flowers. These are my mom's favorite. They're stargazer lilies. And then I got some fresh eucalyptus from Trader Joe's. And just added that in. I think the eucalyptus always smells really good dried. And I'm gonna light my candle and I'll show you guys how it all turns out. So here is how our room turned out. I'm showing this area because that's where Chewy used to sleep every night if he didn't sleep in our bed. This was a very hard day. After I was done filming this, Chewy and Ron and I laid in the bed and Chewy took his last breaths in Ron's arms. I'm happy to say he went naturally. I don't know if happy is the right word, but um, and we're very sad but he is out of pain and he passed away right on that blanket with us and he's in a happier place he's with ellie and thank you guys for the years of love and support you've shown for him i can't even begin to tell you the weight of loss that we have experienced but being on this channel and having you guys as something to look forward to each day has been monumental for me so thank you Chewy was buried next to Ellie and is forever in our hearts. Um, a couple videos from now, we are building a giant 10-foot bookshelf because I want pictures of our family and things in our house. And I'm going to slowly make this house my home, whether it makes me feel comfortable or not. We're going to get through it this year together. So thank you all for being a part of this journey and for loving our pets and our family and this wonderful, wonderful journey. So I just want to say thank you. I'm going to take you on a little tour of this room and I'll see you in the next video really soon. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.